Hey guys, welcome back to the past again. Today is Saturday, May 20... I'm gonna say the 24th. I'll put the date, as always. Anyway, um, so, goings on. Um, change the channel name. Um, change the channel direction since the trace of motherhood no longer reflects what the channel's going to be about. Mind you, when you're seeing this, you're seeing it when it's back to like motherhood stuff, but um, long term I still want to discuss the stuff that I'm, I'm discussing right now, but not right now. Right now, your now, not my now. Um, I'm still sick. It's like a month now. Um, it's totally stressed now. And work is stressful and the adoption is stressful. Let's talk about that. So, <laughs> um, last video I had talked about how agency had more questions and needed some paperwork and stuff. Well, then I got an email again saying, hey, we now need your intervention check um, because it's expired. And I was like, hold on a minute. You told me the only thing I needed was my RCMP check. I'm like, I gave you a list of my documents and you said RCMP check um, there was no hey right now we only need your RCMP check but as documents come up to their year date we're gonna need those updated as well there was no as of right now RCMP check but in the future we might need other things updated there was no any of that it was just yes just your RCMP check so Thankfully, because of my dossier, I already did my uh, intervention check because last time it took me two months to get that. So preemptively for my dossier, I already did that because I was going, okay, if this is going to take me two months, I'm going to get on that for my dossier. Um, so that I already had taken care of, so that worked out okay. But I'm like, so if it took two months again, we're in May, and you're telling me now that it's expired and therefore I need the new one, that's not notice. That is like last minute baloney of being like, hey, by the way, because um, it expired, I want to say like the 20 something of April. I don't quote me on that, but um, it was in April and we're in May and you're now telling me, hey, by the way, we need this updated as well. And then I said, do not even start to ask me for a new medical, do not, because I am currently in the busiest time of the year for my work. I don't want to pay for another medical when my next medical plan was for my dossier. I am not doing that. I have no time to go to the doctor because they're not open when I get home from work because I'm often getting home at five, six o'clock at night. Um, so just don't. And they're like, mmm well, there's documents, blah, blah, blah. And I like, okay, so this lady that I'm, that runs it, I'm not naming names, um, this is four times now that she has told me one thing and then later come back and told me something else. On top of that, she once gave me very inaccurate information that I, like, when she said it, it raised red flags, so I then consulted with my coordinating agency and the government and was like, hey, this is what my agency is telling me, but it doesn't seem right. And they were like, nope, 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 not right at all. Um, so five times inaccurate information. So I was very upset because now my home study is delayed by the fact that I cannot get this piece of paper until I'm off in July. And the first week I'm off in July, I'm not even local. I am gone. I am leaving the day after I'm done work. I am leaving to go pick up my brother at the airport, and we're gone for a week. So the earliest I can do it is the following week. Um, so I'm a little frustrated. So I said, I emailed the, the director, and I said, look, this lady has messed up too much. I said it in a nicer professional way than this, but um, she's messed up too many times. I don't want her dealing with my stuff anymore. Um, I understand that there might not be someone else that can deal with it, but... Um, if that's the case, please, every, I need everything to just go through you so I'm getting accurate information because I can no longer trust that what she's telling me is right. 
Um, and I don't think that's too much to ask, to have accurate information. I am paying my agency thousands of dollars to provide me with counseling and support, and it's not helping at all that she's giving me wrong information and then coming back months later and backtracking and trying to be like, oh, no, 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 um, actually it's this. And I'm like, here is the email where you specifically told me this. Um, and then she tries to make it out like, oh, well, it's just policy or it's, like, she tries to brush it off and it's like, no, this is a big deal. So I am very frustrated because now my home study's in limbo, which I already pre-did my son for May approval. Um, because if I had known in April, even in April, not even talking about, I should have known from the very beginning, hey, as your documents come up to a year, if your home study is not approved by then, you'll need, by the government, you'll need to update them. That's what it should have been. That's what the conversation should have been. Should have been just a, hey, this is all we're required right now to start your home study, but that your home study needs to be approved. If it's not, then these are needed to update as well. Um, or even, hey, there. this is all we need right now, but we might require updated documents in the future for other things. Taylor, come here. Whatever you're doing, you're pro probably causing trouble. Um, but there was none of that. So even in April, it should have been, hey, these documents are expiring. You should get on that. Because the government has had my paperwork. My, my agency has approved my paperwork, I think, in, like, I want to say March, February. So, like... They should have been on top of that and being like, hey, just to let you know, we noticed that two of your documents are expiring in April. The government's going to require that. Um, you should update them. No. I'm finding out in May that they now want me to update these documents. And I just had a break in February that I easily could have got things done. I had a break in March. Nope, April. That I could have had things done. The like second last week of April, I had off. My medical was already expired then, I believe. My intervention check was so like why I am I just like I just cannot believe that they are so I don't want to say incompetent because I feel like that's kind of rude but uh, that's how kind of I'm feeling right now and um, just like I'm paying you money to make sure that my stuff is done right and you're not doing it right um, so yeah I'm not I'm not impressed at all right now um, and I had filmed a video sit down and then of my last what I talked about last time and then I refilmed it because I felt like I was being too negative um, but this video this is what you're getting uh, because I'm sorry I don't have there is no way nice to say that they messed up and I'm not paying the price for it um, I told them straight out that they are getting the Bulgaria dossier um, form. I am not paying for my agency form to be filled out and then the month later paying for my dossier form to be filled out. Not happening. So I said to them, um, you're just going to get the Bulgaria one because I'm not paying twice. And they said that's fine. Um, I, I have to pay for the dossier one anyway so it's not a big deal financially because it's something that is planned for anyway. It's just now I have to do it sooner than I had planned it but whatever. Um, I was going to do it in the summer time, I was just thinking more like August than July. Um, so anyway, so I was just like, so now I don't know when I'm having my home study approved. Um, I straight out told them, I do not have time. This is the absolute busiest time of the year for me right now. It's not happening until I'm off in July. So um, I, I don't know what else to tell them. I'm not booking time off work which I would take unpaid because this is not like a medical specialist, this is not anything, this is an optional thing. So I do not feel comfortable taking paid time off work to go do it. Um, I don't, I can't take time off work anyway because I am so busy that every day I'm at work, I am doing assessments, I have meetings, I have like, I can, I don't have time. We have field trips. We have one, so I have two classes in the next, I think we have like 25 days left to school. Yeah. Um, in the next 25 days, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six days of that 25. I am not even in the building. 
because <laughs> we have field trips. Um, and then I have three days of meetings during that time, two of which are full day meetings. Um, and then like the last two days of school, um, I have two classes. So the one day is the last day for my one class, last day for my other class. I am not taking time off work the last two days of school. Um, so it, it's kind of ridiculous. The only day I could possibly maybe get it done in June is the last day of school because we have early dismissal. So maybe I can get like a three o'clock appointment and do it that way. Um, but it's just, really? Like what, why am I finding out about now instead of months ago? I just, I really don't like how it was handled. Um, also, my um, social worker forgot about me. So my main issue has been with the person that runs the, like, I don't know what to call her, like the manager, like the coordinator for the program, um, for the for the adoption program, not for my coordinate agency. Um, and then there's my social worker who was writing my home study. And the last video when I updated you guys, she had gotten information from me and gotten paperwork from me. And then um, last week I had emailed her and was like, hey, was the paperwork I sent good enough? Um, and she was basically like, I forgot about you and I never sent anything to the government. So this was two weeks of a delay because she forgot about me. Um, she was supposed to call my references and never did that. Um, I heard from one of my references that she did do it recently now. But so my home study was delayed two weeks because the social worker forgot about me. And now it's going to be delayed another month and a half because the coordinator person failed to tell me that I needed certain paperwork. Um, so yeah, delays are abound. Um, in, on the one hand, I shouldn't be complaining because I'm delaying submitting my dossier anyway because of finances, which I'll talk about in a minute. But on the other hand, do your job, people. Do your job. I am paying a lot of money to have people do their job that they're just not doing. And it shouldn't matter when I plan on submitting my dossier. It should matter that they're not doing their job properly. I'm sorry. Um, so at this point, in terms of that agency, I do have to finish everything else with them. I'm not switching agencies. I should have switched agencies back when I, before I started my home study. I had thought about it, and it was just going to be too much work, but this is another headache. Um, I'm grateful to the director, who is very sweet, that is going to be the point of communication now. Um, like I said, the other person has to be involved because that's their position. Um, but the director will be in between. And I, I am not talking at all to the coordinator. I absolutely refuse to. Um, she tried to call me on the phone. I refuse to talk to anyone on the phone anymore because the four times that she messed up, um, what saved me was having email records of it and being like, look, this is what you told me. Um, but if she had just told me that over the phone, how do I, how do I be like, hey, no, that's not what you told me before, right? So, um, I have a lot of trust issues right now with them. I mean, I have a lot of trust issues with agencies in general, given how the India agency screwed me over, over completely. So, I just can't trust that they have my best interest in, in mind. Um, I think they have dollar signs in mind, um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, unfortunately, I know quite a few people doing private adoption, that it's the same thing, they're treated as a number, um, agencies don't really care about them. I have heard good things about one agency, but that's not saying a lot, um, and that was the agency I was thinking of switching to for my new home study when I was like, nah, never mind, it's too much work. Um, where was I going with all this? Oh, so um, once my home study is approved and things are like over with that agency, at least for that point in time, um, I am going to see if I can switch to a different agency for my post reports. So for Bulgaria, I have, I think, four post reports, um, 6, 12, 18, and 24 months home. Um, I believe is what it is. Don't quote me on that because I'm not, I don't have paperwork in front of me. But I believe I have four post reports. So um, I don't feel comfortable working with an agency that has failed me so many times 
to have it done in a timely and accurate manner. Um, so I will be looking into having a different agency do that um, because my understanding is it just has to be someone that has a social worker license. Like it doesn't have to be my home study agency, but um, I haven't gotten that verified. So I'll wait until things um, are done with this agency, at least in terms of my home study. I will have to go through them for my referral as the way it works is my coordinating agency gives the Alberta government the information and then the Alberta government gives my agency the information and then the agency gives me the information. Um, it's just how it, they want to filter it because if um, I get ref a referral for a child that doesn't match my home study, then that won't even get to me because the government, Alberta government will be like, hey, this doesn't match her home study. That's my understanding of it anyway. Um, so yeah, I still have to deal with them in some in some ways, but that was again why I was like, I don't want anything to do with this lady anymore um, because I'm afraid she's going to give me inaccurate information that is going to make things go wrong again. So anyway, that's kind of, wow, I'm rambling for so long, but this is a very good rant for my heart considering I cannot talk about this. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at in terms of that. In other fabulous news... Found out I have to pay another thousand dollars before I submit my dossier. Was not planning on that. Um, the fee is for translation and notarization of documents, which I thought was in a different fee. I thought that was in like included in a fee. I didn't realize it wasn't. So that's my bad. That is totally my fault. Um, I am. I told a friend about this and she was like, how does that happen to you? You know, like everything, you break everything down. You are so organized. And like, I know, I don't, I don't know how it, how it slipped through the cracks. So, um, so unfortunately I have to come up with that before I can submit my dossier because I have to do that. I have to get everything translated and notarized and everything. So it's a lot of money. Um, India was cheaper because they didn't need to translate anything. Um, they didn't have notarized and whatnot, but oh. I'm like, another thousand dollars. It might be less than a thousand because it depends on how many documents and stuff like that. But um, I'm just like, no, not more money. So at this point in time, I honestly have no clue what I'm submitting. So if I'm lucky enough to get an appointment on that last day of school and I can get my, see, I don't even know if I, I probably can't even get, I can get my appointment done that day. But then I still won't be able to get the actual paperwork done that day. And then I'm gone for a week. So it doesn't even make sense to do it then anyway because I'm still not going to actually get it done that day. And um, she's probably going to want me to do blood work and stuff like that anyway. And I can't get it done that day. So it doesn't even really make sense for me to try to squeeze in an appointment that day when I'm packing up my classroom, getting things organized, then coming home and packing to leave to Edmonton at like 5 o'clock in the morning the next day. So I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna wait till I get back um, from all that nonsense, and then try to get done. So we get back. I gotta think now. I think like the fifth, fifth or fifth, sixth of July we get back. Um, so if I booked an appointment for like the seventh, then maybe by the fourteenth I would actually have the report, and then by the time they sent it to the government and everything, I will be lucky if I have my home study approved by the end of July and then in my hands by the end of like mid August probably like it's it's delaying so much um, but then on the other hand I wasn't submitting until beginning of October which is now probably gonna be more like the end of October thanks to another thousand dollars um, so then I'm technically not delaying as long as I would have been delaying because if I got my home study approval in August then it's like I'm delaying like two months instead of like four months, but I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me, people. Do your job. If I was like that and it was just like, hey, I'm just not going to submit any of this paperwork or I'm not going to tell people that they need to do this paperwork. Could you imagine? Oh, by the way, we have a field trip coming out on Monday. Like, could you imagine if I was like that and like, hmm. Today we're going on a field trip. I need you to sign this parental consent or your kid has to go home because they can't go on the field trip with us. Could you imagine if I did that? Like, oh my God. Oh my God. Or, hey, report cards are due today, but I didn't do them yet. So, 
I'm going to do it next week. I forgot. I forgot all about the fact that report cards were due. So I'm going to wait two weeks and then I'm going to do them. Like, I don't know. I just don't get how people, one, can forget to do their job and forget about a client who is paying the money and forget completely to actually do the work that they're supposed to do. Um, and then two, not let a client know that they need certain paperwork before they actually need that paperwork um, instead of waiting until past the time they needed that paperwork. Um, but anyway, now I've been ranting for 20 minutes. It's been good for my heart, but you're not going to see this until like a year from now, maybe longer now. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Tomorrow's video might not be till July because nothing's happening. Anyway, I shall see you guys later. Bye, guys.